Okay, what is the molar mass of ammonium sulfate? I'm going to do this question because it solves, we can do many things to it. Like first, uh, determine the chemical equation of ammonium sulfate, and afterwards, determine the molar mass of that. Okay, so what we're going to do is, we're going to find ammonium sulfate on our periodic table. So I'll pull that out. So the periodic table, we have it here, and we need to look at our table of polyatomic anions. And if we... If I zoom this up, ammonium is NH4 right here, and sulfate um, is, if I can find it, is SO4 minus 2. So I'm going to write that down. So ammonium is, uh, what is it, NH4 plus 1, and sulfate is minus 2. Since this is plus one minus and sulfate is minus two, we need to have two uh, compounds of ammonium ion to cancel out the negative two charge. So that, therefore, this, since we have two ammonium um, ions, that gives us a charge of plus two and minus two, which gives us zero for our neutral charge. So the chemical equation for ammonium sulfate will be in brackets, NH4 bracket subscript two, S O four. So therefore, that's the chemical equation for ammonium sulfate. Now let's determine how to determine. Sorry, how to determine the molar mass of ammonium sulfate. So what we got to do is we need to count the number of atoms of each element. So we have nitrogen here. However, we have a subscript of two that applies to it. So therefore, we have two atoms of ammonium, and it's two times. And what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by the molar mass of ammonium. And I'll go back. And the molar mass, sorry, molar mass of nitrogen, which is 14.01. And multiply that by 14.01. And the uh, unit for um, the elements are always, for molar mass, is grams over moles. Therefore, 2 times 14.01 will give us 28.02 grams over moles of nitrogen. Hopefully I didn't say ammonium again, so that's nitrogen. Now for hydrogen, also it says H4, therefore four atoms of hydrogen, but we have to multiply by two. So four times two gives us eight. Therefore we have eight atoms of hydrogen. So eight times the molar mass of hydrogen will be 1.01 grams over moles of hydrogen, which gives us 8.08 .08 grams um, grams per mole of hydrogen. Now, uh, let's look at sulfur. When we look at sulfur, we just have one atom of sulfur because there's no coefficient here. The coefficient is one, one times subscript of one is going to be one. So we have one atom of sulfur. So one multiplied by, and we look at put in the periodic table, it gives us 32.07 grams over moles, which gives us 32.07 grams over moles of sulfur. Now when we look at oxygen here, we have a subscript of 4 and we have a coefficient 1, so 1 times 4 gives us 4. So we have 4 atoms of oxygen. So 4 times the molar mass of oxygen is 16.00 grams per mole. Therefore, 4, to, 4 times 16 gives us 64.00 grams over moles of oxygen. So now, in order to determine the molar mass of ammonium sulfate, we add all our molar mass of each element up, which gives us a total of 132.17 grams over moles of ammonium sulfate. So when your teacher asks you to determine the molar mass of a compound like ammonium sulfate, you should show all these steps, including all the units, and indicating which atoms these molar mass belongs to, and the total molar mass, and the chemical formula for um, the given compound.